Today we're looking at the successful family part two. When we talk about family, we are talking about the man, woman who are married, with children and relations inclusive, and sometimes others will live with you. Marriage is not man's idea, it's God's idea. Marriage is not an experiment. God places so much value on the marriage that he was practically involved in instituting it. And anything God loves, Satan hates. Because God is the one that founded marriage, Satan hates marriage. One institution that Satan fights a lot is marriage. He fights the marriage. Because he knows God loves marriage, so he hates anything. Anything that is good infuriates the devil. Marriage is when two servants decide to master servanthood in the same house. I went for that to say that Satan wants to be the third party in your family because it comes through strange voices, through human agents, and they want to attack the family, but they will not have access to you. Then we looked at how to enjoy success in the family. How to enjoy what? Success in the family. Now I'm going to look at other responsibilities of the woman, which I didn't take. Other what? Outside submission, there are other responsibilities of the woman. That's where I'll start from. What are the other responsibilities of the woman? Of the wife? She should be a homemaker. She should be a what? She is to keep the home neat, clean, tidy, and conducive for the presence of the Holy Spirit to dwell. Any house you enter and it is dirty, the woman has failed. Do you hear me? Many women are physically fine when they come outside. When they get to their houses, you wonder whether people live there. Pancake in a dirty house will make your house cake. <laughs> Let me say this to all the women. Beauty does not make a woman interesting. But an interesting woman is always beautiful. <laughs> Beauty does not make a woman what? Interesting. But an interesting woman is always beautiful. If your husband has no interest in you, forget it. It is his interest in you that makes you what? Beautiful. Not your pancake. A woman decides how a man feels. The feeling determines the entire future. So I hear. Woman, hear this. You are the homekeeper. Say with me, say to a woman around you, you are the homekeeper. Let the woman say, I am the homekeeper. That means, as a homekeeper, she prepares for her household. Any woman who does not know what your husband eats, you are in trouble. You must not be the one to cook, but you must know what he eats. Listen. Don't get too busy. That he don't know what enters the stomach of your husband. Because the stomach of a man controls his life. You hear me at all? Why many kites have been able to take the men is because do, there are women who do not know what their husband likes. There are women who don't know what their husband likes to eat. Stomach is very powerful. Proverbs 31 verse 15. Those of you in the Western world, you want to wonder what is kaite? Kaite is a kaite. In case your name is a kaite, I don't know what I'm talking about. Too. Yeah, you get what I'm saying now? So they say, Papa, is it me? My name is a kaite, you're not the one. Proverbs 31, 15. Let's read together, I want to go. She ariseth also while it is yet night 
and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Any woman who does not know what people eat, she's, a, she's no longer a woman. Hmm? You know, we talk about the men always, so like this church, we talk more to the men. There are women who don't know what even their children eat. Give them anything, anything like give them Indomie, Indomie, Indomie. You are telling the housemate, oh, Indomie, Indomie, housemate, Indomie. Even if the housemate has a friend, Indomie, go and find out the kind of Indomie. First, you prepare the one that you don't understand. She rises up. So in the morning, a woman must get up to go and see what the children will eat. So I hear. Today, women don't see. They go out in the morning, come back in the night. Number four. I think everyone has taken his own. Have you taken your own? Hello. Don't say I'm not married. It's not a marriage. You know how to do it. Do it, know it now. So when you get to marry, they don't learn in exam hall. It's not a marriage. You know about marriage. You know about marriage before you marry. I'm not married. This is not me yet. It's for you. And when you know something before you enter, it's easy to pass. So I hear. You know why men are failing? They prepare for wedding. They don't prepare for marriage. They make wedding very elaborate, but they don't prepare for the marriage. So they fail in marriage. You will not fail. Even if you fail before, you will start more again. Number four. How to enjoy what? Success in your marriage. Fulfillment of mutual obligations. Fulfillment of what? Fulfillment of mutual obligations. It is part of family responsibilities. Part of what? Mutual obligations are romance, affection, intimacy, and sexual relationship that should be fulfilled in your marriage. I will explain them. God's idea of procreation establishes the coming together of husband and wife. So I hear. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, 1 to 5, this is Paul speaking. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own worth wife. Let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife do what? Benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. The wife had no power of her own body, but the husband. Likewise, also the husband had no power of his own body, but what? The wife. Defraud. <laughs> you know what is defraud? When you defraud, you have committed fraud. When you defraud, do what? Defraud is not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. That you may give yourself to fast and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for what? That means, if the man say, I want, don't say no. When the woman says, I want, don't also say, no, that's what the Bible is saying. Children are with us. Don't wear boxers to sleep. Don't wear what? Don't wear short, khaki short. Don't put pillow in between two of you. Husband and wife, we are quarreling. Heavy quarrel. Then in the morning, the husband said, I'm married. The woman said, I'm married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. The husband took it up. <laughs> Sang his own song. 
all those kind of songs, they can't help marriage. Satan, you don't fall for God. <laughs> Please, don't get up with those kind of songs in the morning. Are you hearing me now? You're not married to Jesus, you're married to a man. All those, all, you're not married to who? Uh, God who read the Bible did not turn it upside down. I'm married to Jesus, I didn't be alone, no. Those are a lie. You are married to a man. You are married to, you're married to a man. You're not married to Jesus. <laughs> and you sing it when there's quarrel. If you want to sing it, there shouldn't be quarrel when, you are, when they're singing, not when they're quarrel. You know, the kind of songs people sing when they're quarrel is different, though. This house where I did now God own them. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. What keeps a marriage together is intimacy. You can have your separate rooms, but sleep in one room. There's nothing wrong because if women are meant to have one room, there'll be trouble. Women know their loss does not end. Their loss does not what? So have your bedrooms separate, but when you have time for sleep, sleep on the same bed. Ask me why. God will say that the two of you, you say one, you give heat to each other, not so. Scripture like Ecclesiastes. So there should be affection, there should be intimacy. What keeps people together? When you, let me say this to all of us. When you see husband and wife quarreling, 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 and you say, what is wrong? Do you want to say like this? Wicked man. No, we have been pastors, so we've been cancelled for years. They said, What is the problem? The man would, you see, the man will, I've, I've cancelled husband and wife. The man said, I broadcast for her, I give everything. The woman looked at him and said, Sir, Papa, let me tell you the truth. He said, Wicked man. Very wicked. The man said, What is it? There's nothing you want that I've not given to you. Wicked. <laughs> Don't mind him, sir. He's wicked. He's the most wicked man on earth. The man said, I've given everything. Why do I talk I said, Holy Spirit of oh God, what is it? You know, there are things, and I only this kind of church where people are free to teach. So, our churches, they are very holy. So, they don't teach such things. When they teach such things, they just push them out. They say, No, love your wife, submit to your husband. They, they touch it. So, I said, Come on. This is where your wife is saying, Wicked, wicked, wicked. They see her. He said, five, five months now. Five months never near me. Five months. <laughs> <laughs> then I know that they, uh, what I don't pass, Gary. I told the man, I said, go and do your work. Uh, and the quarrel ended. When they see quarrel, there was a man in a place called Bolo in the Creek, Nigeria. They were husband and wife were quarreling, 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 quarreling. He said, this quarrel, Chugomie. <laughs> Chugomie means there's something under. There's something under. What is under? When he says, my wife, call her, call her, call her, call her. He says, what's the problem? They cannot tell the world. Nothing, nothing but this man, the wicked, the wicked man. Wicked. Chuko, there's something. Then what is under? If you know what is under. So go and do your assignment. Go and do your number five. This one, even men of God, some of us are very guilty. Oh. No, no. When they pray, 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 fast, 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 fast. The woman going to look at your face and say, ah, okay, this is your fancy, no end. <laughs> Number five, agreement in the family. Number five is what? Do you want to succeed in that family? Agreement is important. Amos 3.3, 3, it says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Let me say this to you. Disagreement reveals a difference in goals. Disagreement reveals what? A difference in goals. Mutual goals create unity. When you see husband and wife, two of you are not heading towards the same direction. Anytime you see husband and wife, they are not agreeing, the goals are not the same. The woman is trying to go this way, the man is trying to go this way. So here. Love that does not grow dies. 
And disagreement in a family will shut the door against God and his blessings for you. Matthew 18, 19. Again, I say to you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that shall be, they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Let me say this to every one of us. The most powerful force on earth is not your pastor and you. It's husband and wife. That's why Satan fights the marriage more than any institution. You know why? Man is three-dimensional. He's a spirit. He has a soul. He dwells in what? The body. The only union that shares the three is husband and wife. Your pastor or the man of God or woman of God shares only two dimensions, spirit and soul, but does not share body. So when the husband and wife come together and agree on any topic, the heavens must respond. So Satan knows that. So he keeps showing discord. So two of them will never agree. But the moment they flow together and say, in the name of Jesus, no devil can stop them. So from today, no devil will stop you. Yeah. Satan knows the power that lies in husband and wife. So he keeps causing confusion. So that they can never be together. That is saying we should be wise to know how to deal with the devil. So here. When there's agreement, success, promotion, breakthrough, and miracles that you desire can easily be obtained. Where there's agreement. When there's what? Immediately. This will be ta, 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 ta. Today they shall come to you. And then for the singles, hear this. Those of you who are yet to marry, you want to marry. I said something. Anyone who cannot feel your pain cannot create your joy. If you are not married and you are in a courtship and a lady, you are going through a challenge, she does not seem to be bothered. She will never create your joy. Including men. You are going through some challenges. You are not working. And then you are saying, oh God, help me to get a work. And the person you want to marry is not even concerned that you are not working. Please forget it. Don't marry her or don't marry him. The person from beginning does not love you. The first sign of love is what pains you, pains the person. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm? Anything that causes you pain touches the person, then the person loves you. You are trying to, she cannot say, he cannot say, oh, let me join you to fast so that you can get the miracle job. She's just waiting for you to, no, no, don't go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't go that direction. That direction is very dangerous. Very, very what? Very dangerous. Bojo, bojo. Glory to God. And don't marry whom you don't love. Circumstance should not make you marry. Any man that does not love you, you marry him, he will divorce you. Don't force yourself on any man. If he doesn't love you, he will leave you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Make sure you marry who loves you. And you to make sure you love the man. Are you hearing me, young woman? Any man who cannot take the leadership role, forget him. He will put the burden on you. So here, singles. You heard what I said? Mm. Mm. I said, for you, the lady, never marry a man you cannot submit to. Don't marry a man who hides his financial state. Yes, it is his money. But if he hides it, you remember you're going to invest your whole life to the man. You even change your name to his name. So if you carry everything and give to him and he hides his money, don't go. Also for young men, I said something, don't marry a woman who loves money. She will sell you. Don't marry a woman who does not respect you. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Please take note of a change in service schedule. Effective Tuesday, 28 February 2023. The week of spiritual empowerment schedule will be as follows. Tuesday, church in the house from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. GMT plus 1. Wednesday, and Thursday evening services at 5 p.m. GMT plus 1. 
Effective Sunday 5th of March 2023 Sunday services will be as follows First service 6.30 a.m. GMT plus 1 Second service 8 a.m. GMT plus 1 Third service 9.30 a.m. GMT plus 1 And fourth service 11 a.m. GMT plus 1 Why Thursday service will be at 5 a.m. GMT plus 1 God bless you as you observe the new changes.